everybody. Welcome to another amazing Tuesday where we get to spend some time with you guys talking about business. It's the new year, right? 2021's already flying by. It's yes. crazy. I mean, goodness gracious. Um, we're already going on our first vacation. Yes. Of the tw of 2021 since we didn't get to do hardly anything in 2020. <laughs> that sucks. So we technically paid for this vacation like uh what 2 years ago? Probably, yeah, 2 <laughs> it, years ago. It was like the end of 2019 or something like that. I don't know. So yeah. we paid for it and uh we're finally getting to go Turks and Caicos. So if you follow us on social media, you'll get to see some of that fun stuff. But what we're talking about today is three important questions, three important questions that you need to be asking yourself and looking at your business to see, are you going to be able to accomplish this? And these, these, the answers to these questions can really, you know, give direction to your business for 2021. Yeah. And if you don't pay attention to it and you don't have a game plan, it's going to be over. The year will be over <laughs> and you'll be going, dang it. I didn't hit my goals. So the first question is going to be, where are you currently in business? Where are you currently? You need to know that and understand that. We're going to talk about it. The next question is, where do you want to go? And then the third question is, how are you going to get there? So Troy, let's jump into the first question of where are you currently? Yeah. So that's a really important question. Where are you at right now? We're two months into 2021. So like, if you think about that, one sixth of the year is pretty much gone. So you've only got five more, Amazing. you know, five more periods or two month periods to hit your goals. And so where are you at right now? Hopefully you set your goals last year for 2021. If you're right? listening to our podcast, you should have. Exactly. We did a whole podcast on that, setting your goals, you know, and then where are you at? It's really funny because every day from my children's school, I get a text message <laughs> in the morning that says, check your kid's temperatures. And if they're sick or have a fever, stay, anything home. Like that, stay home, you know, and it's really funny because every single day. I get that. And I was thinking about that and I'm like, man, here I am checking my kids temperatures every day of the week, you know, the school week. How many times do I check the temperature of my business? Right. You know, how many times do we check and see, is my business healthy right now? Am I growing? Am I shrinking? Am I staying the same? So, you know, you want to ask yourselves, are, you know, what are you doing? Are you checking your business on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis? Yeah. And you need to be, you need to know where you are currently are by what we've talked about in the past. And we're going to keep repeating it just like Troy gets a text <laughs> message every single day about stay home if you're sick or check your kid's temperature. Um, it's tracking. Yeah. You have to know where you currently are. And the only way to do that is to track everything. Right? Exactly. If you're not, if you don't know your numbers, you don't know where you currently are in business. If you're just basing it off of what's in the bank, you are not running a business. You are wishing on a star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So then the next question is, once you know where you're currently at, right? Think of a map. You got to know where you start, mm -hmm. right? And if you don't know where you're starting, then you have no clue where you're going no. and how you're going to get there. So the next thing is now you know where you are, where do you want to go? Yeah. So hopefully you did set your goals, you know, at the at the end of last year mm -hmm. and you're two months in to reaching those goals. So are you two months into reaching those goals or are you still back at the starting line mm -hmm. and you haven't really even started yet? So we have a couple of things here, you know, have you set your goals? Another big one is have you, have you written down your goals? Yeah, exactly. People think it's funny, but putting, having a vision board or writing your goals down, it helps it manifest because it brings yes. it to life. It's not just stuck up here in your, in your mind anymore. It's out there in the world. It's on paper. It's on the wall. You see it all the time. Other people see it. You're thinking about it more. It stays in the forefront of your mind. Exactly. Right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things that we do is, again, we're monitoring our business every single day. So every time I get on my computer, I have my dashboard that pops up yep. and it tells me, you know, all of my important numbers right on a daily basis. And I can take a look at that. And then I also have my goals of here's where I want to go, yep. you know, 
And I can see, well, here's where I am. Here's where I want to go. Am I even close? Right. You know, am I heading in the right direction? So, um, you know, writing them down, tracking them like Trevor talked about, because if you're not tracking the, you know, whether you're getting towards that goal or not, you're never going to get there. Yeah. Say, say that you got a hundred new customers last year and you want to get to 200 customers. That would be a goal Yep. that you, that's where you want to go. So we're like us, we're like at a, you know, between 70 and hundred new customers a month. We want to grow that. We want to double that for this year. Right. Exactly. But we have to have a game plan, right, Troy? Absolutely. You got to have a game plan. So um, let's talk about that. How are you going to get there? So mm -hmm. now you know what your goal is, right? You got your destination. Now, what is the vehicle that's going to get you there? That's right. You so, can't just say, I'm going to double this year. And then somebody, <laughs> if, if, you know, my first question to you would be, and how are you going to do that? Show me the game plan. Yeah, absolutely. It makes me think of, a lot of times when I think about this, I think about weight loss. Mm. You know, people go, ah, oh, man, I want to lose 10 pounds. All right, great. How are you going to get there? Yep. Well, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to eat better, yeah. exercise a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, lose 10 pounds. Lose 10 pounds. You know, are you going to weigh yourself every day? Nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. So you're not going to track it. Um, are you going to track what you're eating? Nah, I'm not going to do that. You're going to count calories? You're going to count calories? You're gonna that sounds hard. You're going to have a workout plan, like a daily thing that you're going to do? Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go to the gym and throw some weights around. Right? And they never get there. No. It never happens. And then they wonder why. Right. Exactly. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. You know, so what is going to get you there? Is yeah. it a plan? Right? Is it, um, you know, that you're going to lay out of here's what I'm going to do with my marketing. Here's what I'm going to do with this, right? Here's, I'm going to have, I'm going to hire new salespeople, additional salespeople to sell for me. Am I going to increase this marketing budget? What is the plan? Mm -hmm. Right. It's like when we walk into a business and we're doing consulting, the first thing we do is we establish where are you currently? Yes. Right. And then where do you want to go? So it's where are you currently? And so they're telling us like, I'm doing this marketing. I'm doing this marketing. I'm doing this. This brings in this many sales every single month. This, 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 this. Right. And we go through it and then we say, okay, where do you want to go? Well, no, I want to double. Awesome. So what are you going to do additionally to what you already showed me that's going to get you to the double? And that's where they all go. <laughs> crickets, crickets, right? Like, yeah, they I'm, have no I'm, idea. I'm just going to double. Yeah. I'm just This is going to work better than it did last year. This, the same stuff I'm doing now is going to work better than it did last year. How? Are you going to put more money to it? Do you have new avenues of revenue? What are you going to do? And they just kind of look at us like, Mwah. and then that's when we analyze what they're doing. And we say, this is where you can, this piece can grow. And this is a new idea that you didn't even think of. And so anyways. Yeah, exactly. So there's a couple of vehicles that you can choose here. You know, what is the vehicle means like, could be what marketing are you going to do? Mm -hmm. You know, what systems are you going to put in place? Things like that. There's also the who, you know, who can get you there? So is the who, you know, an additional partner in the business? Mm -hmm. Is the who additional salespeople on your team? Do you need more salespeople to close more sales? Or the who might be somebody mm -hmm. who has done it before, Yep. right? That you need to hire to help you get the job done. That's right. And one thing that people need to realize is in business, you're going to fail sometimes. Absolutely. So you need to be trying things. If you're not trying something and then failing um, or trying something and then succeeding, you're not growing and yeah. you're never going to. You have to, a lot of people don't try in the first place because they're afraid of failure. So they go, oh, well, I don't know. I, I tried uh, SEO and that didn't really work. So I stopped that. Okay, great. There's multiple reasons why that might've happened. You can't just say, oh, SEO doesn't work. It could have been the person. It could yep. have been the keywords they were going after the research. It could have been, you know, the climate and where we are in business and in life at that moment, right? Yes. You might've been marketing at the wrong time. So there's multiple reasons of each thing, but if you don't even try, you don't even start because you think, well, I did this. And, and so I'm not going to try that because that failed already. And I just don't know. And you're going to stand still and you're not going to grow. Yep, exactly. So the solution to your problems might be a who. Mm -hmm. It might be a person. Or the right who. Yeah, the right You might who. have to try multiple who's. Exactly. From Whoville. In order to make it work. So that might be, you know, again, we've talked about, it could be someone that you hire, it could be employees, whatever mm -hmm, it might mm -hmm. be, but finding the right person, right. preferably somebody who's been there before, done it before, Yeah. you know, 
It's um, like the Grinch. Until the Grinch found Cindy Lou Who, <laughs> he was a Grinch. There he you had go. to find the right person, right? Exactly. So, and then um, what needs to change in your business to get there? Mm -hmm. That's also part of, you know, how you're getting there. Because like Trevor said, we, we very put it very well, you know, I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did last year, but it's going to be better this year. Mm -hmm. No. Right. You know, something most likely in order for you to hit your goals, as long as your goals are stretching you mm -hmm. to grow, right? As long as your goal is not like, I'm going to do exactly what I did last year, which that's really not a goal. <laughs> that's just <laughs> choosing to not do anything, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Stand but, still and expect different results. Exactly. But if you're trying to grow the business, you need to look at what needs to change in the business, um, you know, so that you can get there. Yeah, because it may be a who, it may be growing a team, but that's change, you know? Yeah. It may be allocating more money towards marketing. We've talked about this in the past where a lot of entrepreneurs come in and it's like they're sucking the money. What they get paid is what they suck out of the business at the end of the month yeah. after everything else is taken care of. Well, guess what? If you're not leaving anything in there for marketing or for growth, then you don't really have a business. You have yeah. something that is supplying a lifestyle and that won't last. That will go away. All right, let's jump into homework. Answer these three questions and make a course of correction this week before another month goes by to fix it. Yes. What do you need to fix? Do you need to track better? Do you need to have more goals or ideas of avenues of revenue? Because sometimes it's just coming up with a new idea. Yeah. Of how, like something I could do. I could try this or I could try that. And then taking that step, right? Putting your big boy pants on boop, and making that decision. I like that. Or it's looking at your business and saying, what needs to change? What do I need to do better or different in yep. order to possibly hit these goals because until you m think of it as that it's a possibility you'll never take the steps to do it exactly and take action now because yes. you know again i want you to think about this two months are already gone by in 30 days three <laughs> months will have gone by that means a quarter of the year how fast does a week go by is like lightning. Yeah. a quarter of the entire year so one fourth of the time you had to reach your goal will be gone in the next 30 days i mean think about 2020 for me i mean and the world 2020 sucked but yet it flew by in my opinion all yeah. of a sudden i mean i know a lot of people that were stuck at home and they were they're like oh my gosh you know and so you might be in a totally different boat than i am but i was like holy crap it's the end of the year all of a sudden it was whenever it hits thanksgiving i'm like oh my gosh yeah you know really it's uh halloween <laughs> if yes. you have hit halloween and you haven't gotten close to your goal you're not going to hit your goal for the year. Yeah. You're not because you got Halloween, then you've got Thanksgiving and then you've got Christmas and new year and it's over. Yep. Game's over. So guys get to thinking, get to asking yourself these questions and then make and take some action. All right. Well, we sure appreciate you. The next time you see some posts from us, we will be in Turks and Kickers. <laughs> so excited on the beach with our wives, you know, hey, and Ron Howard and Karen are gonna make an appearance. If you don't know who Ron is, Ron started this whole business 20 something years ago. He is the man. So guys, we're so excited to be with you and love you so much. Thanks for being with us. We will catch you on the next episode of So Tell Us Time. <laughs>